What's up guys, Carrington here, and today I decided that I'm going to be dyeing my hair once again because the color in my first video, that it was a little bit too grayish silver, and it's kind of faded a little bit like grayish silvery green. I mean, it still looks really cool, but I still want to make it a little bit more blue like how I originally wanted. So I'm also going to be using a different dye this time because the other dye is great, but sometimes it doesn't turn out the color that it says on the sample. I'm going to be using Manic Panic, which is what I've used to do a lot of the colors that I've had in the past. And I brought three of them. It's in the color After Midnight. And I also have my detailing brush and a bowl. I forgot gloves. <laughs> and you're going to need plastic or silicone. You're going to need silicone gloves to put on. These are tougher than the last one. Ew, this looks so gross. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it. I'm going to start off by getting my blue hair my bowl and I'm going to open this dark character. I'm gonna try and show you all this. It's really really dark and I don't want my hair to be that dark at all so I'm going to dilute it tons with conditioner and this is the same conditioner I used last time. So I'm only gonna take about like this much and put it into the bowl that much with hair dye, I kind of just experiment most of the time and that's how I usually get most of my hair colors. Which I don't know if it's like a great idea, but I mean, why not, right? And now I'm going to take my conditioner. Now I'm going to mix it together. As you guys can see, it still looks pretty dark, so I'm going to add even more conditioner. And the color I'm wanting to go for isn't like a turquoisey blue, it's more like a blue steel. Last time it turned out more grayish silver. The last time I dyed my hair, I think I diluted it just a little bit too much. <laughs> this is looking good, but since I'm going to be doing my entire head, I'm going to add a little bit more dark dye and more conditioner. And for people who say, oh my gosh, you're dyeing your hair all the time. Is this gonna like break off your hair, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, the only thing that damages your hair is honestly bleach and harsh chemical dyes. What I love about Manic Panic is that it is vegan and has like no harsh chemicals. And it's not nourishing for your hair, but it's like way better for your hair than any other type of dye. Adding a little bit more dark blue, more, more conditioner. And you can just keep on doing this until you're happy with the color. Hey guys, sorry, so my other light died, so I'm sorry if the lighting is a little bit different. I am still mixing it up. I'm going to, I'm gonna start by parting my hair in the middle, and I'm going to start at my root and do like the pieces on top first, because I want those to show up. Like I did in my last video, start from the bottom and work my way up. <laughs> Now that I kind of did a little bit on the top, I'm going to go ahead and start from the bottom. Now I'm going to take my first section on the bottom and make sure that it's brushed through. I already brushed my hair before this, but just making sure that it's brushed through with my fingers. Then I'm going to take each individual piece, starting from the back, and just saturate the heck out of it starting from the root and moving down to my tips. Like I said in my last video, it's so much easier when you use your hands because you can spread apart and see if there's any blonde left. Make sure that everything is completely covered.
I just go through each section and make sure that there's no blonde left. Now moving on to the next section. up on the color I'm absolutely obsessed oh my gosh I'm so excited to see how this turns out <laughs> now I'm going to take my next section and also something that I didn't do this time that I should have done but I didn't have any is put Vaseline around like your neck area and around like your hairline because dye tends to stain a lot especially manic panic be sure you do that <laughs> for sure and also guys I have a towel down over the sink and stuff because considering that it does stain you don't want you know, your mom or anyone or dad or you to end up having stained countertops I've made that mistake before and I've literally have like purple on my ceiling yeah be sure to put a towel down use vaseline books <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and mix a little more. Also, be sure that when you are buying hair dye that you buy enough because I've been through times where I haven't bought enough and I'd have to do half my head and then go back the next day and then do some more and that's not fun. Getting more is a lot better than not getting enough. And I bought three. <laughs> is be sure that you're wearing a t-shirt that you don't really care about. <laughs> More, but see I've literally only used like this much dye which is really good Now 
I'm just going to kind of put it all together and look through it and make sure that there's no blonde pieces at all. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So this is what it looks like. And by the way, guys, you leave this on for an hour, hour and a half, depending on how vibrant you want it because the longer you leave it, the more it stains. If you want like a lighter color and you like this, but I'm gonna leave it on for about an hour and I will see you guys when I wash it out. <laughs> So I just washed my hair out in the shower and it is looking really, really, really cool. I'm super excited to see how it turns out when it's dry. Oh my gosh, yeah, look at that. So I'm gonna let this dry and later I think I'm gonna style it and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Mm -hmm. 